Hey everyone, how y'all doing? I'm here at this wonderful place called Malski Oko in the south of Poland in the mountains on the border with Slovakia. It's absolutely brilliant. Do you think that money can make you more attractive? Well, it's actually a double-edged sword because it's true and it's not true. Here's the secret. Never ever overtly lead with money or success. When you meet someone, like a woman, just let them figure it out for themselves. It's always better to do it that way. You should just focus on being fun and having a good time and a good lifestyle. Now, it's no secret that getting success and money does make you more attractive, or it has done throughout the whole of human history. But why is that? Do you think it's the money? Or do you think it's something else? Well, it's actually something different. It's, to me, money, is a tool and it's representative what it actually means having money just means that somehow something's gone gone right so money is just a tool and what it represents is it means that your use you must be useful in some way and resourceful so just being able to generate money means that you know you're of some use so that in itself being able to generate money is quite attractive if you're just handed money is that attractive not necessarily Yes, there will be some people that want to take advantage of that and spend time with you to extract that money. But, you know, you can spend it. And then if you can't earn any more, then that's the difference. Whereas if you can generate money, that is attractive because it means that, it, that, that you're resourceful and that you're useful and that it's a, it's a sign of competence. And that is actually attractive. Now, obviously we're talking about a guy here earning money, but if you think about this from a woman's perspective, it works totally differently. Yes, there will be few guys out there that actually find a woman who is wealthy or has money and success attractive. Um, but that's just because they're looking at the lifestyle again. But generally the majority of guys would always prefer the 23 year old feminine, gorgeous McDonald's worker over say, the 35 year old successful lawyer and if you don't believe me go and ask any guy and put them two options to him and see what they say a couple of experiences that i've had with my own self in this is I spend a lot of time with my brother uh it's actually his birthday weekend we've been to krakow in poland and had a good time he's he's really good fun um he's actually very playful fun and attractive from a from a game perspective uh, but he's no money right and that does affect him, but, you know, there's also a side to it where when you're just social, you know, people want to spend time with you because you're fun. And also because he gets to go away to fun places like we travel together, that is actually attractive um, because it's lifestyle. Lifestyle is attractive. Money can actually get you a lifestyle. You know, you can actually use it as a tool to buy your lifestyle, uh, but it's you do not necessary. You can generate a lifestyle on very little money if you know what you're doing. Because um, if you think about lifestyle, you only need the amount of money to service the lifestyle that you want, and you can design that anyway. I had a few nights out over Christmas period a few months ago, and it always reminds me of a few of the experiences. So I think there were three nights out. The first night out, I went out with my brother, and we were just having good fun, meeting lots of people, and they're all talking to us, and it was really good fun. And you know, when I was meeting people, you know, I've not got loads of money, but I've got a decent lifestyle. And when I meet people, never lead with money or anything like that. They can just tell themselves, they could just figure it out. But the fact that both of us were having a good time and just being fun was actually wanting people to sort of hang around with us. And we met some old school friends and it was a really good night. The second night out, I went out, I was with some friends and one of the guys is very, very rich. He's been divorced a few times and, 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 and things like that. So he leads with money all the time. He's not that successful actually in his dating world. Been divorced three times and the sort of people that he spends time with, the women that he spends time with, they tend to attract the wrong sort. You know, the, I'm not saying they're using him for his money, but I think you get the idea. There's a very big difference there because this guy's actually got no game really. He's, you know, he's not very good in terms of his social skills. So yeah, he attracts the wrong sort. So what I would say is, you know, think about money. What you want to do is you want to create a lifestyle. And if, if you can be generate money, it's a sign of competence. And as long as you use that with a lifestyle, 
and you've also got good social skills that's where the secret comes in so yeah money itself does not make you attractive it's a sign of competence and if you use it correctly with a good lifestyle and you fun good social skills that's the secret if you just have good social skills you can also do okay but you'll not do as well as if you have some lifestyle and a little bit of money behind you that's the secret sauce yeah you can also do it with a really good lifestyle where you don't need money and that is fun people like that it's interesting and in a lot of my other videos i always talk about the importance of lifestyle i think the secret is definitely lifestyle over money you only need the amount of money to service the lifestyle that you want and you can design that however you like and if you want to know how to design it have a look at my other videos on goal achievement i'll put some links down below and you can see how you can design a life for yourself location independence another night out that i went out with all my old school friends and i was talking to a bunch of people these were a, a really young group of people and some of the young women there were asking me about what i do for a living they were asking about my job and I, and i thought i was telling them about my business but it's a bit of a funny one because my business is quite technical yes it's fun to me but to young people they didn't have a clue so i explained what i did in terms of the technology business but it kind of like went right over their heads and what i realized was i followed it up with well it allows me to travel and i've got some location independence and things like this that's when their eyes lit up so that you know, if you think about it they're not attracted to the money that you generate they're attracted to the lifestyle that was when it really made sense i knew that explaining what i did for a living was not it's not really that interesting what is interesting is a lifestyle and you can travel all right hope you enjoy that i'm going to go and do some hiking don't forget to like it subscribe see you all next time